Memo is components. React Memo prevents renders when props haven't changed. Wrap expensive components inside it. Use callback and memo hooks. Use memo caches calculations. Use callback caches functions. Only recalculates when dependencies changed. Avoid anonymous functions in render. Here, the bad example creates new function on every render, which kills performance. But the good example here use use callback for a stable function reference, which makes huge difference in lists. Avoid inline object creation. Inline objects create new reference on every render. Move them outside or even use memo if possible. Use a sort transition for non-urgent updates. A sort transition marks update as non-urgent. Input a says responsive while expensive operations happen in background. Use use deferred value. Use deferred value creates a lagged version that updates after urgent updates. Perfect for keeping inputs smooth during expensive renders. Virtualize long lists. Virtual scrolling only renders visible items. Handle millions of items smoothly. React window is your friend for long lists. Use fragment instead of div. Fragments group elements without extra DOM nodes. Less DOM equals better performance. Use angle brackets or React fragments with keys. Optimize context API usage. Split context by domain and update frequency. When user changes, only user components render. Prevents cascade of renders. Code splitting. Code splitting breaks bundle into smaller chunks. React lazy and suspense make it trivial. And users only download what they use. Next.js dynamic imports. Next.js dynamic imports are more powerful than React lazy. Disable SSR at loading states, conditional load elements, very flexible. Tree shaking. Tree shaking removes unused code, but only if you import correctly. Default imports for components and named for utilities, although it's mostly unnecessary in modern bundlers. Compress assets. Compression reduces bundle size by 70% or even more. Broadly, and gzip are two famous choices. This plugin generates compressed files at build time. Analyze bundle size. You can't optimize what you can see. Bundle analyzers show exactly what's eating your bundle size and the beautiful visual tree map makes it obvious. Proper key props for lists. Array index as key causes bugs when items reorder. Always use a stable unique identifiers, which comes from the data. If these techniques are helping you, a quick like and subscribe really supports the channel. Drop a comment on which tip you've excited to try. Now, moving on to optimizing images. Optimize images. Images are often your largest assets. Next.js image optimizes automatically. Multiple sizes, modern formats, and lazy loading. Also, you can enable modern formats like AVIF on your next config file. Request the duplication. React query deduplicates identical requests automatically. Five components request same data and only one network call, plus caching and background updates. Smart caching with SWR techniques. SWR is a technique for intelligent caching. SWR library and TANSAC query are best choices here. Implement pagination. Pagination loads data in chunks, keeping initial load fast and memory load, and also server-side pagination for large data sets is essential. Infinite scrolling. Infinite scrolling for seamless content discovery. Use infinite query handles the complexity of it, which is provided by Tansac Query, and I have explained it in my free React Query course on my channel. You can check it out. Optimistic UI updates. Optimistic updates make apps feel instant. Update UI immediately and roll back if request fails, essential for good user experience. Debouncing and throttling. Debouncing delays execution until pause inactivity, perfect for search and only a subs after user subs typing and it will save tons of api calls web workers web workers run heavy computations in background threads meanwhile the main thread says responsive for ui perfect for image processing or complex calculations intersection observer hook 
Intersection Observer detects when elements enter viewport much better than scroll listeners and it's also essential for lazy loading and infinite scrolling. Clean up resources. Always clean up in use effect returns, remove listeners, cancel requests, clear timers, and so much other stuff. And with this way, you will prevent memory leaks. Use Emer for immutable updates. Emer lets you write mutable looking code that produces immutable updates. No more complex spreading, perfect for nested state. And it will prevent mistakes during doing it manually. Atomic state with Jotai. Jotai provides atomic state with fine-grained reactivity. Only components using specific atoms render. No context performance issues. If you want me to create a course on it, just tell me in the comments down below. Next is server components. Server components run on server and send HTML to client. No JavaScript shipped with static parts and use client components only for interactivity. Performance monitoring. You can't improve what you don't measure. Core web vitals track loading, interactivity, and visual stability of your application. A skeleton screens. A skeleton screens show content structure while loading, makes apps feel faster than spinners. Make a skeleton to actual content layout. Which technique will you implement first? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more React performance content.